pros and cons of going to an industry trade show. Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Well, you know, uh, we've gone to trade shows for many, many years. And uh, I'll tell you, the pros to going to a trade show are that you have the opportunity to network with uh, other BSCs and, uh, and vendors, uh, suppliers, manufacturers, things like that. You know, these are all people that you maybe haven't met before. You've, uh, you've talked to them online through social media or something like that, and you just built a relationship. So that's one of the benefits of going to a, a, an industry show is that you'll be able to meet them there. Now, um, most of the shows uh, today are generally in Las Vegas or Chicago. They used to do Las Vegas, sh Chicago, and Orlando. But I think now it's only uh, uh, Chicago and Las Vegas. This year, in 2019, it's going to be Las Vegas. And uh, so, yeah, you know, that one there, you typically will get a lot of people uh, that will go to that because, you know, most people haven't been to Las Vegas and uh, they can go and gamble, they can go to a show. Uh, there's all kinds of things to do out there in Las Vegas. A lot of fun stuff. And, it, you know, it's expensive, but uh, a lot of fun stuff to do. So, you know, that one there could be a pretty good show to go to. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about that, the, the, you know, the downside of, of the shows too. But anyway, uh, one of the pros is definitely networking. Uh, you'll be able to hook up with all these people that you've met online uh, or people that you've known for years. Um, and like I say, it could be both building service contractors, it could be vendors, manufacturers, uh, and so on. Uh, then, uh, like I say, the trade show itself, you can go on the trade show and gosh, it could take you... Uh, a couple of days just to walk through the whole thing. Uh, the trade show itself is where they've got manufacturers uh, of products. Uh, it could be equipment, it could be uh, chemicals, uh, microfiber cloths, mops, buckets, uh, just about everything that you can think of. Uh, software, you know, software is huge now because now that's you're seeing a lot more of uh, these vendors uh, being software companies, you know, apps and so on and so forth. So it can take you quite a while just to walk through that trade show, trade show floor. But, you know, that's the, the pros to that is that you can come across a lot of great information, a lot of great products. So uh, when you're going to do that, I would suggest that uh, go through the list of the vendors uh, and decide on which ones that you really want to go and visit and mark those. And uh, then when you go out on a trade show floor, just use the map. And you'll be able to you'll be able to get to that vendor. Um, and the other thing too is uh, one of the pros is that they've got educational sessions, which uh, you know can run for a few days, uh, and they'll have a number of different sessions on various topics, you know, for on each day. Um, you know, some of the topics are you know not so good, others are good. Um, you know, but that's really the thing is again before you even go to the trade show. Uh, before you even decide to go to it, you can always look through the educational sessions and see what they have. You know, okay, maybe maybe that's not, uh, maybe not, they don't have a topic uh, in there that really sparks your interest. Uh, so, you know, that might be one thing that you might think about uh, to decide if you're going to go or not. But they have a lot of sessions. Uh, sometimes they, they will have uh, the same speakers which uh, sometimes gets old, you know, because it's, you know, it's the same topic and the same speakers. But uh, lately they've been doing a little better with that. So that really is one of the, the pros because you can actually learn something there. Um, now the other thing is too is that uh, the pros uh, to going to a trade show uh, is that it could be a working vacation. So generally, you know, these trade shows will last a week or longer. And you, uh, you know, you can go ahead and take a few days to to go to the trade show, and then take a day for yourself personally uh, to to visit the city or or uh, you know do some of the activities there. So those are some of the pros of going to a trade show. Uh, some of the cons, well, it can be expensive, and it is expensive. There's no way I should rephrase that. It is expensive. Um, you know, so when you th when you think about going to Chicago. Uh, for uh, an industry trade show is very expensive. You could easily pay over $300 a night for a hotel room. You know, and that's insane. Uh, but that's, you know, that's the kind of price that you're going to be paying. 
let alone to get into the trade show. You know, the trade show is going to cost you hundreds of dollars, and depending on how many people are going to go, just yourself, or if there's two or three people that are going, you can see where that could add up to thousands of dollars. And especially for the trade show admission itself, uh, your your membership, if you're a member or a non-member uh, of the association, uh, because if you're a non-member, uh, that fee is higher. So keep that in mind. And then uh, you know if you're getting if you got two three people that are going to this trade show and you're going to get separate hotel rooms, well remember you know around you can figure around three hundred bucks at uh, three hundred uh, dollars a night. Well if you have three people there you go yes nine hundred dollars. Uh, so you can see how that starts to add up. Uh, then you start talking about uh, food. Well you got to you got to eat so uh, you know you're going to go to some of these restaurants and things like that there again the prices are going to be high uh, you're going to end up paying a lot of money so that's one thing to really think about uh, if you want to go to a trade show do you have the budget to, to go there and spend that kind of money uh, uh, you know uh, to, to attend that trade show now the other, the other thing uh, which is a con is that for some companies you have to think about the time that you're away from your business. Um, you know, for a solo entrepreneur, that's tough. You know, here they, they're, they've left their business, they're going to be gone for a few days, um, you know, and, uh, you know, they've arranged things to where, where the cleaning is getting done, uh, maybe with, a, with an employer or somebody that will fill in for them, but still, it, it's time away from your business. And for most of uh, most entrepreneurs, you know, yours wondering uh, what's going to go wrong, what's happening, you know, and, and, and you think that the world's going to come to an end. So you're not really enjoying your time at the, at the show anyway, at the trade show. Um, so, but that's something that you will eventually uh, get over. You'll be able to uh, grow your business to where you can have uh, your employees take care of things for a few days. And so you can just leave for a week and go attend a trade show and um, you know really uh, enjoy it and not be, not be worried about what's going on back home. Now some of the other things too is uh, you know they can have some poor educational sessions. Uh, bad topics you know just, uh, just bad topics. Uh, they, they, you know you may, know, may not have any interest whatsoever in, in that topic. Um, you know they could have uh, somebody that's a poor presenter. Um, you know, but those are the things that are the chances that you'll take is when you, when you go to them when you're not familiar with the with the presenter. Um, it, it happens, but uh, anyway, that's something to keep in mind. And now, you know, the other thing is too is that uh, you know these trade shows, like I say, you know, they'll have their uh, their shows. You know, Las Vegas, Chicago, uh, and you know that's the thing is okay. Well, I've been to Chicago many times, very expensive. Been to Las Vegas many a times. That's expensive. Um, so you know, Las Vegas is is fun when you maybe your first couple of times, but then it's just it's just the same old thing. It's gambling shows. Uh, you know, and there, there's all kinds of activities that you can that you can get into. But and if you're a party person, you know, well there you go. You can drink and uh, have a good old time. But again, uh, you know, it's. You, you got to think about the reason why you're there. You know, you're there to hopefully uh, get some information that will help you grow your business. Uh, you know, and if it is a working vacation, you know, that's fine too. You know, just, uh, you know, uh, behave yourself <laughs> and don't, don't get into trouble to where you get thrown in jail. But anyway, those are some of the things that you got to think about, you know, the pros and cons of going to a trade show. Uh, like I say, you know, uh, we've gone to uh, many trade shows. Uh, had a lot of good time, met a lot of great people, um, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, we've uh, done some speaking at, at the conventions. Um, but, like I say, uh, you just want to go ahead and uh, gather your information uh, about the trade show, uh, see who's going to be speaking, who, and, uh, you know, who's going to be the presenters, um, and what kind of activities they're going to have, uh, what kind of educational sessions, you know, what are the topics, because there again, I think that's really what's going to de determine if you really want to go or not. Uh, because if none of the educational sessions, you know, uh, interest you, then then really why go? Uh, just to walk through the trade show and talk to a bunch of people that are selling supplies and, and uh, things like that. You can do that right at home. Just visit some janitorial supply houses. But anyway, uh, hopefully you found this information is good. Um, you know, so that's all I've got for now. 
And uh, if you like, you can go ahead and click on the like button. And, uh, and as always, if you uh, haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to the channel. We've got hundreds of uh, videos on how to uh, create a successful cleaning company. So until then, we'll see ya.